Okay, so uh, continuing on this project. Um, I guess the next thing uh, I'm gonna try to attempt to do is uh, paint this grill um, and excuse all the noise. Uh, the heaters, I believe both heaters are running right now uh, for uh, um, to get it warm in, uh, in here uh, so I can paint. It was pretty cold when I walked in so I, I turned them up. Anyway, back to the grill here. Uh, this grill uh, is actually the only the only piece of chrome on this truck, so um, get, getting rid of it should be uh, fairly easy. Um, I'm going to uh, pop this grill out, uh, back the truck out, and uh, start uh, scuffing the, the grill there and get it ready for uh, some, some etching primer. Um, I know you can uh, you can buy uh, new black grills. I think I priced them out uh, maybe sixty or seventy dollars, I believe, for cheap ones online. Uh, I think I can paint this grill for you know for about a fraction of that. Um, it's going to take some time, but uh, um, it's going to be a whole lot cheaper to do it this way than to uh, buy a new grill. Plus those, uh, this is an OEM grill. Um, those cheap grills, sometimes the fitment is uh, kind of iffy. So um, I know this one fits good. So I'm just gonna paint this one and uh, be done with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the lights out here and uh, get get started removing this grill. Okay, removing uh, the headlights on these S10s. There's a uh, tab here and a tab here. Um, you got to pull them up and uh, pull these clips out here and uh, that releases releases the light. Okay that should release the light. Um, doing this one hand is probably going to be pretty tough. But uh, there she pops out, and uh, I'm going to unhook the the lights now. I, I can't do that one-handed. And there's three of them. There's one here, and then uh, I'm going to uh, pull this light, do that to the other side, and uh, these headlights will be out. Okay, the headlights are out. And the grill is held on with eight of these clips here. There's there's two here. There's uh, two up here. There's one there, one there, and then there's two on this side. And uh, some of these clips have come off the the grill. But that happens, you just put them back on. Um, you pull your lights out of the, the turn signal light and uh, this should be ready to come out. Okay, some of these clips didn't come out with the grill. So you just uh, pull them out, snap them back on the, the grill, and you're good to go. I had a few that come out like that. Okay, there's another uh, mount for this grill. Looks like it's in the center, the center of it. Uh, this grill here that I just took out didn't have any, any pin in there. But uh, the, if you take it out, you might have one there. So. so this is what I got now. Got the grill off. To get this uh, marker light out, you just flip it over. There's these uh, things here. You squeeze them together. I can do this with one hand. You just squeeze them together, the light falls out. 
and there's another clip right there. You just keep rotating the light down. And this clip. Don't drop the light like I almost did there. Of course, I'm not going to be using this one anyway, but that's how you get the marker light out. Okay, the center uh, Chevy symbol, the bow tie, is held on with uh, little studs there and then these little nuts. Um, 10 millimeter, takes them off. Just be real, real easy because if you break these studs off, you're your emblem is worthless if you're going to reuse it. Uh, just take it slow. If you ruin the threads too, um, this is worthless. So just just be easy with these. And the bow tie will just come out. Okay, the grill is uh, stripped down and uh, it is not in the best shape. So I'm just going to uh, scuff and, and sand this thing down so I have no uh, loose, loose chrome or loose uh, whatever they spray on these things and uh, get it ready for, uh, for some etching primer. Okay, scuffing it down here with uh, just some of this uh, Scotch Bright stuff. Um, taking my time, making sure I get uh, all the all the loose loose stuff off. Um, you know, this 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 is the time you really got to take your time, and it's it's really cruddy, crappy work. But if you don't do this right. Um, paint ain't gonna stick and you're just wasting your time anyway so um there was a uh, little crack here and uh, this is where that light was on the bumper I just put some putty on there or bondo and uh, for this crack that was there um, for cracked plastic a lot of times I'll take an old soldering gun and then I'll, I'll just run on the back side of the crack and uh, melt it melt it back together and uh, that seems to help a lot um, when I have when I have uh, when I find uh, like a cracked uh, piece of plastic so that shouldn't uh, shouldn't move should be good once I say in all this Bondo down and uh, I've uh, got to stand it pretty good I think and uh, once I get uh, that Bondo sanded down I'm gonna clean it up real good and uh, I should be I'll be ready for for the etching primer okay it's uh, all scuffed down and uh, wiped down twice now, blow it off, and I uh, believe I'm ready for uh, the etching primer. So uh, that's uh, what I'm going to get started doing right now, and uh, we'll see how she goes.
Okay, here's what I got uh, after, uh, I would say two medium coats of uh, the etching primer. Um, etching primer is really for uh, when you have bare metal, because it'll etch itself right into the, into the bare metal. The reason I use etching primer is um, years and years ago when I first started painting, I wanted to uh, paint a chrome grill on a truck I had. So I asked the, I asked the guy, an old painter, where I, where I was buying the paint, how, how to go about doing that. And he said just use some etching primer on the chrome um, and it should, it should hold up. So that's what I've been doing for, uh, you know, for years in many trucks now. And uh, I seem to have pretty good ex success with it. Um, Chrome doesn't like paint. I'm not going to lie to you about that. And it's probably uh, easier to chip um, when you paint over Chrome and stuff like that. Easier to scratch. Um, but you know that's that's what uh, you use uh, touch-up paint for. When you get chips and scratches, you you cover them up. If you use a vehicle as a daily driver, which I'm going to be doing, um, you're going to get chips, you're going to get scratches. That's just, just the way it happens. Um, no matter if you're driving a $100,000 show car or, or, a, or a couple thousand dollar uh, S10, it's, you drive it, you're going to get chips. So, um, My recommendation if you are having somebody uh, paint a grill for you, um, if you can get a body shop to paint uh, over chrome, um, I've heard that's kind of hard to find a body shop that's willing to do that. I would just go buy a black grill and then have them paint it. Then you know it's 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 done and uh, and you won't ever have to redo it. Um, that's what I would do. Since I can paint, I'm not worried about it. If something really catastrophic happens. Um, which I've not had that yet in all the years I've been painting uh, chrome. Uh, I'll just repaint it. So I guess that's my take on it. And uh, I got the I got the black mixed up and ready to shoot. I'm gonna blow this off. Make sure there's no little particles on it. And uh, I am going to uh, turn this grill black.
Okay, uh, two coats of, uh, of color, and uh, I believe I got it, uh, got good coverage. I got black and everything I want black. So uh, next step is the clear. I'm going to mix them up, start spraying. I'm not going to do any video on that because uh, that stuff is nasty stuff and it sticks to everything. Um, I don't really want clear coat all over my uh, $200 camera, the lens and stuff. So I'll just have to uh, cut back um, when I get that doll, uh, when I get that all painted. So I will be back in just a second. There's the clear coat. And you can see it's clear, just like it says. Um, and then you mix this in a 4 to 1 ratio. Four parts uh, clear, one part uh, the activator. And uh, going to uh, mix this up, throw in my gun, and uh, start spraying. Okay, I got some clear left here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a tiny bit of, of black mixed in with this, just a little bit. And I'm going to take my factory bow tie and I'm going to smoke it. Um, it's not really in the best shape, but once it's smoked, um, you'll never see all the imperfections in it and uh, it'll look good again. So then I won't have to spend uh, 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever they cost for a new one. And I'll have a, a like new uh, factory smoked one. I think that'll look really good. 